Hi guys, welcome to the sixth tutorial on LV table development for Rebrand Pro for app. In this tutorial, we will like we will look at um, how to make LV table editable. Um, you know how to uh, make a particular column input enable and how to display uh, you know particular column the values in the column uh, as linked to action uh, fields. Uh, and also we'll see how to respond to the events for example if I display uh, the first column all these values is linked to action hyperlinks and if I click on a particular value uh, I have to trigger some action I have to do something uh, you know I have to execute some custom logic for example um, also if I make any of the column as input enable and if I change the value for example the amount here uh, and I press enter uh, and it, uh, I want to update the database with the new value, right? So how to respond to the events? Okay, so we'll see all that in this tutorial. So I've already written the code. I'll uncomment the code and um, I'll go through. I'll explain the code in details. Um, first, to make the ALV table editable, what we need to do is we have to call this method from the so LV value is um, you know there's a configuration model uh, so it has a method called set read only right we'll pass above underscore false uh, which makes it uh, uh, you know uh, editable right so I'll just activate this So now um, you see there are four new buttons that appear in the toolbar, right? The check, append row, insert row, delete row, which means I can now append rows, the delete, I can insert or delete rows and this, it is editable now. Uh, now if I want to make, for example, this particular field as input enabled, right? How do I do that? Okay, so to do that, we again go to this loop where we we are looping, um, looping over the you know the columns, the fields. So if you want to make amount column as editable, so what you need to do is um, okay. So for every UI element, for example, I want to make as input enable, right? I want to uh, display that particular column as input field. So there is a class CLSALVWDUIE underscore input underscore field. If you go to IC24 and uh, if you put if you type put up CLS LV <coughs> WD UAE star and press F4 you get all kinds of uh, you know classes uh, each corresponding to a particular UI element for example checkbox right the button um, the link to action drop down or, you know, the caption and the text view so so here I'm using the input field here right so what I will I will call the constructor of that you know, I'll create an object for this class, of, which refers to this class, and I need to pass the column name, right, for which column I want to make, uh, you know, I want to set this input field. So that is amount. And then once we create an object of this class, what we need to do is the, the column class has something called set cell editor, and uh, I've, I'll pass this another underscore input to that method. So this makes the column is input enabled. Right. So basically, what happens is, uh, you know, when system creates, we uh, create this column. The cell editor, the each cell in this column, is represented as an input field. So that's what uh, you know happens behind the scenes. So if you want to make this as a button, for instance, so I have to use a different class, the button class there. And do the same thing exactly. If you want to make it as a drop down, if you want to make it as a you know, link to action, it's exactly the same thing. 
So you have to uh, know the exact class that you need to use. Okay, appears as input table. I can change the value here. Right now, if you want to make this as a hyperlink, for instance, I want to make 2011 to, and all these values appear as hyperlinks. Again, the same thing. So we have a we have a class for that, which is says CLSAL VWD link to action. So I've created an object for that class, which refers to this class, and I'm using set text field name, and I'm passing the the technical name of the column, and I'm using the column class set cell editor. And I'm passing the LR underscore link, so it's exactly the same thing. The only thing, you know, depending upon the UI element, uh, here the constructor doesn't have any parameters, right? Uh, but here the constructor does have, you know, we need to pass the field name here. Right? So, so just you need to, you know, look at the constructor of that class and see what parameters that you need to pass. That's all. Okay, so let me just activate this. So you can see the hyperlink now, and this is input enabled. Now, if I want to, you know, if you don't want to display, you know, these buttons here, right? Uh, we can uh, hide these buttons. It's very simple. So that is, yeah, here. So if I want to, just just me first uncomment this. Okay. So there. Are so I want to hide these three buttons, the append, insert, and the delete row buttons. The same uh, configuration model class has this methods, set edit insert row allowed. I'm passing ABAP false, so that will hide the button. Then the same thing for the append row button, same thing for the delete row button. Okay, let me refresh this. So all the three buttons disappear now from the toolbar. Okay. Next, uh, what we will do now is uh, how do we respond to the events? For example, if I change this to something else and I press enter, I want to update the database. Uh, okay. And if I click on this hyperlink, I want to trigger some action. I want to do some custom logic. So how do we do that? So for that, what you need to do is you go to the methods tab okay and then you create a event handler you create you enter you know you just enter any name for the method and select event handler here and in the events tab you have to select an interface event which comes from the standard alv component right all these events are defined in slv table components so because i've you know defined the component uses i can um, use those uh, interface events in my component so there are several events here. Uh, in in one of the tutorial, we used uh, I think on function, uh, yeah, and in the self-defined uh, tutorial, self-defined functions creation tutorial, I've used on function. So here I'm I'm going to use on cell action, right? This gets triggered uh, if user takes any action. You know, you can press an enter, you click on some button, or you select a drop down. Uh, all those um, you know activities basically trigger this action so I've selected on selection event here right so what happens when, when you do when you take some action in the cell this event is raised by the system and because I've defined the event handler this link underscore enter event handler for this particular event so the system calls this particular method okay so what I've done in this method is Okay, uh, I'm basically uh, okay. I think before we go into the code, so this R underscore param here it refers to this interface, and if you go into the interface attributes, because there are three things here. One is the column, right? This 
this attribute will contain um, the, the column name okay uh, and this will contain the index of the cell in that particular column and this will contain the actual value that you have changed if, if it is input enabled field you will change it to something else right so that value will be stored in this value so these are very useful you know attributes so what I've done here is so I have two columns right one is input enabled one is the hyperlink now if I click on this or if I change something and press enter in both the cases the same action handler gets called so I need to somehow differentiate uh, what I've done did I click on hyperlink or did I change the amount to something else and press enter so uh, the way to identify that is the r underscore param the column attribute will have the column technical name so if it is an amount then I do something some logic or if it is not then I do something else so what I'm doing here for the amount case I'm just reading the ALV2 context right which holds the data that, that gets displayed in the ALV here the whole the whole data here and so I'm reading the context data right here into LTLV table and I'm using the index attribute in the in this interface right to you know to uh, extract to, to basically know which row which row is uh, score param index uh, contain uh, the index of the column or in other words index of the row right in which in which row I'll place the cursor okay uh, and then use uh, I'm using that index and I'm reading the particular row from that internal table and then uh, I'm taking it to the another structure and I'm using the modifier statement to update the database okay and I'm just displaying some success message that's all so the else part come gets executed when I click on hyperlink right and the hyperlink I'm just giving a message nothing else okay so I hope this is clear let me just activate this I'll just refresh I'll open the session to display the table values. The table, yeah, this is Y movie table. Okay. So let me just change the third value to one 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 and I press enter. Okay, nothing happened. <laughs> Good. The reason is um, you know the when you when we use on cell action we have to do one more thing yeah this one we have to explicitly call this particular method from the configuration model which is set cell action event enabled to true right please uh, keep this in mind Cool. Let's change it to one 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 and press enter. Okay. Now it has database updated successfully. Just cross check with actual data. Okay. This is one one one. Good. So now if I click on any of the uh, year value here it says air link clicked okay so that's it for this tutorial I'll see you guys in the next tutorial thanks for watching bye bye